Hey guys, this is Torner and today we've got the new combo breaker. So it looks like we're going to be getting some villains finally. You can see here the massive list of characters that we've got this year. And yeah, there's been no villains. So it looks like they've finally gone back and done some villains. Um, based on who these characters are, I think they are. Um, a few people have kind of said very similar. So I'm, I'm kind of pretty confident about these. Uh, so what have we got here? Now, I wanted to talk about a couple of things first. One, there's no new bio character, no new tech character here, uh, which is very interesting. Um, from these characters that were kind of like, it's basically given which characters they are now, um, which means that there's no Venom tie-in, um, which I, I find very interesting. There's no Venom tie-in unless they kind of sneak in a fourth character next patch or something like that. Who knows? Um, I'm also not sure, like, there's no Eternals tie-in here, so I assume that Eternals is going to come the patch after. But currently, this is looking like a mutant patch, which obviously, as you guys know, I'm very very happy about and um, like this I don't think there's kind of any kind of um, differences here but I'd love to hear from you guys if you have different opinions so the first one here uh, is pretty obvious to me at least it's silver samurai I don't know which version of the silver samurai they're going to do uh, there's been a few different versions uh, like if we have a look here um, there's a few different kind of silver samurais, um, like a couple different ones here. Um, and he is actually a mutant as well. Uh, if you didn't know that, he has the ability to generate a tachyon field, um, which is really cool. Um, but famously a massive kind of Wolverine villain. Uh, he was also in the movie called The Wolverine. Um, uh, if you didn't know about that, uh, he was this... Obviously, a big silver samurai. Um, next one looks to me like Lady Deathstrike. Uh, if you have a look at like some of these pictures down here, looks very similar to them. Um, obviously, kind of an older style version of her in the, at the moment in the comics. She looks a bit different to that, but like with the cap on, with the long hair and stuff um, coming down behind her. Again, another Wolverine villain. Um, and whoops, her power is basically like nail manipulation except her nails are like really sharp because they're laced with adamantium she was also within one of the wolverine movies um if i recall she was like the protector um for what uh for striker i believe um during i think it was actually during the um the uh, movie that I hate, X Men Origins Wolverine. Um, she was a protector there for him. And then the last one here looks like Omega Red to me. Like this here, Omega Red. You've got like the top bun coming out here. Um, who's actually been a character who's been rumored for a while. Uh, so it's good to kind of see him finally come into the game. So he is also a Wolverine villain. So you'll notice that's a pattern here across all three is that they're all Wolverine villains. Uh, he's got a death factor. So you emit a lethal kind of death spores from him um, that can result in weakness and death of anyone nearby him. He absorbs life force and everything. Um, and then he's also got the, um, the big tentacles that come out of him. Um, made out of adamantium um, or carbonium. I can't remember which one it is, um, you, but you can see them here uh, coming out and kind of part, basically ended up becoming as much a part of him as his actual mutant um, X Factor. Um, so what could this actually, like this team be? It's, it's very weird. It's a very weird mix of characters. Um, yeah, they do kind of all share a connection over to Weapon X, except for Silver Samurai. I don't believe Silver Samurai has been a part of Weapon X. Like, um, like I haven't been able to find anything that kind of links him across to it. Obviously, Omega Red and Lady Deathstrike were both big members of it um, and both kind of pulled from that team. So it's potential that they kind of decided to go their own route with um, Silver Samurai, which obviously is something that they've done pretty often. Um where they made it so that like, oh, hey, uh, this character was actually a member of the new warriors. Okay. 
Uh, the other thing is, the interesting thing is that uh, in the actual comic verse, Captain America was a member, uh, was one of the original um, creations um, from the Weapon Plus program. So, Weapon Plus program spans, obviously, not just Wolverine, um, but characters like Omega Red and all the way down to, like, Phantom X and the Step Stepford Kukos. I can't pronounce that properly, sorry. Uh, there's a lot of characters that kind of are a part of that. There's also a potential that they do like it as Weapon X Force, which was the group that was kind of combined um, from the characters from the Weapon X program um, and kind of were meant to kind of be saving and protecting themselves from the Weapon X program. Uh, they are all Wolverine villains, as we've mentioned before. Um, and if, like, if you look up any list of like Wolverine villains, these guys are always like up near the top because um, they're just like some of his major villains. He also has another villain at the moment in the comics uh, who was just kind of released within the last couple of years who I'd love to see in the game. He's actually a um, vampire. Um, and Dracula was a member of the team that was trying to like a member of uh, the vampires that were trying to actually hunt down Wolverine to be able to get his blood because it allowed them to be able to go out to the light and everything like that. Um, so there's like two different directions that this could go. Either these three here are like a Wolverine um, kind of a villain team or something like that. And then they're just kind of working alongside themselves. Give me one sec. So these three could be like this... Uh, Wolverine villain kind of um, like raid team where they kind of combine alongside two other mutant characters. I'm not sure that they want to do that though. My thoughts is that they're making like a weapon X and then they're just going to kind of shove Silver Samurai into it as a uh, like a war team, like a war offense team or something to be able to help us counter this Heroes for Hire team that came out. Um, some kind of war offense team is what I'm leaning towards. And then we get a rework for Wolverine and Sabretooth, who are both characters who have kind of fallen off or weren't really ever there. Um, Sabretooth is obviously basically always replaced within his team on the... Um, on the Marauders, he's always replaced with someone, whether that's Ghost or Minerva or Doctor Doom or whoever they end up wanting to put onto there. Sabretooth ends up getting dropped from there as soon as possible. Um, so that would be interesting for Sabretooth because it would mean that he's actually a member of three different teams because he was a member of the original uh, OG Brotherhood team, then Marauders, and then whatever this uh, Weapon X Wolverine villain team ends up being. Is also obviously Wolverine, who frequently gets dropped from his uncanny X-Men team. Uh, so that would be interesting as well. I, I, I find this all very interesting because there's actually a new series coming out um, next year as well in January. That's the X Lives of Wolverine, X Deaths of Wolverine. Um, this is meant to be like an ongoing, um, like a an event within the comics that's covering Wolverine and stuff. I assume that this has something similar to do with Moira, um, where they had like, um, for those who don't know, uh, I think it was two years ago or... Yeah, two years ago, they did a reboot within the comics for the mutants um, where they did like Weapon X. Uh, sorry, it wasn't Weapon X. It was um, House of X and Powers of X. And then X Lives of Wolverine seems to be kind of like drawing off of that as well, where it's going to be like Wolverine's past, Wolverine's future, kind of talking about a lot of different kind of Wolverine stuff. <clears throat> so it's interesting to see that we're getting a whole lot of Wolverine villains now. Um, I, I don't know what this team is. This, I think it's going to be like, they're just going to make it weapon X and then, um, Silver Samurai is going to be on it, despite not being a member of Weapon X. For all I know, he has been a member of it, and I've completely missed it. And it's like one of the other Wolf, uh, Silver Samurais that I didn't look into. Um, but I couldn't kind of find anything linking him across there. Um, but yeah, it looks like more Mutants next patch, which I'm very excited about. I... I wish obviously <laughs> um, that it was Gambit and Rogue but it does look like it's going to be that um, funny thing is that this actually ties in to some of the comics that was behind Cerebro um, there was the Siege Society comics that were behind Cerebro um, that were showing off uh, showing off what was a Sabretooth on the front cover and Sabretooth was a member of that squad uh, so I find it interesting that they're kind of doing this so I definitely do think like that makes me lean more towards Sabretooth being a squad and then they're doing like a, a war offense squad here um, but I'd love to hear from you guys what you think that's it for today have a great day and goodbye <laughs>